The following program is a paid commercial announcement. The views and opinions expressed are those of the identified sponsor and do not reflect the views or opinions of TBS Superstation or the Turner Broadcasting System Incorporated. The program you are watching is a paid advertisement for Alex Langer's Flying Lure, brought to you by National Media Corporation. Did it work like you'd seen it on TV? This lure here is just, just does what it really says. It swims away from you. No other lure does that. It's incredible. There's no other way to put it. They're not learning on that bait. That you're getting multiple strikes on the same fish. I have not found a fish that won't attack that lure. They're under structure, they're under boats, they're under docks, they're under logs, and that lure just gets right up and swims right underneath it where the fish are. It goes to the fish. Yeah. With the flying lure, you know, you can pull it by him and then drop it back to him and then pull it up and drop it back to him again. You know, it's in the strike zone more than normal baits because it has the capability of backing up. And that's, you know, that's an unreal deal. All other lures, you throw them out and you bring them back. You throw them out, you bring them back. This lure, you throw it out and you let it go away from you. And it's so easy to use. It's made a father real proud to see a kid catch a six pound bass. And they fish. They don't fish. They don't fish. We're at the beautiful Big Cedar Lodge on Table Rock Lake in the heart of the Ozarks as we bring you the latest on the exploding popularity of the flying lure and why and how fishermen across the world are achieving such tremendous success. Hello, everybody. I'm Jim Caldwell. You know, if you're a fisherman or know somebody who is, don't touch that dial because we have letters, stories, pictures to share with you. Alex Langer, the inventor of the flying lure, has some new products. He's got some new flying lure fishing secrets to tell you. In fact, the star of the show is new products. For the first time ever, you're about to discover the very latest secret weapons for your flying lure arsenal. Never before seen on TV. You'll see some amazing underwater footage showing the newest flying lures in action, catching incredible fish. Just like an explosion, you know? I just can't believe the interest of people just around the globe. It couldn't have become that successful if it wasn't a great lure, and that's the bottom line. So just exactly why is the flying lure the most popular lure in the world? Because it puts these simple success principles to work for you. It's the easiest lure in the world to use. It fishes itself swimming on its own with proven pre-programmed lifelike action the flying lure gets into all these fish hiding places where you've never been able to get to before the very best structure and cover that conventional baits just can't penetrate the flying lure can change direction right in the middle of your retrieve an incredible strike trigger for fish this patented two-way action means you can keep your lure in one place and stay in front of a fish's face until he strikes out of a reflex response. Even though this fish is inactive, you can keep putting it back into his face until, bang, you got him. The flying lure gives you multiple falls on a single cast. And remember, on the fall is when most fish strike. It's like getting many casts in one. What does this all mean? You'll catch more and bigger fish through unbelievable lure control, the kind of control no other bait can give you. We've been fishing about an hour and a half. If we hadn't got any bites, I had on a buzz bait to begin with. Couldn't get anything off that, and he's a, he's a dedicated worm fisherman, so he was throwing his worms, and he wasn't getting anything. He, uh, a few weeks earlier, he bought the flying lure from the TV show, and I was like, well, I'm going to give that thing a try. It was a tree hanging off into the water, and uh. I made a couple casts, you know, retrieved it, you know, let the lure do its thing. On the third time I pulled it up, uh, the fish hit, and so I just you know, gave her a yank. His head came up out of the water, and I was like, oh, boy, I got a lot bigger than three or four pounds here. So he got the net out, and we netted her and brought her in the boat and went and weighed her. She weighed 10 pounds, 4 ounces. And to this day, I'm convinced that if it hadn't been for that scoot back action, as I call it, I never caught that fish. I showed it to everybody, rode around. 50 miles showing to everybody I knew. But what about this tank footage you may have seen in our last show? So many people have asked us if it's for real that we went straight to the source. Larry Richter, owner of the Hog Troughs, the largest mobile aquariums in the USA, the very same tanks where the flying lure was first introduced to the public. 
people sometimes have asked, have you, you know, have you not fed those fish in six That's weeks it. or have you trained those fish? Is, you know, is this a setup? Tell us. No, we, we try to feed the fish two or three times a day. And, uh, and you know, whether it's uh, the right way to do it or the wrong way to do it, we do feed the fish a lot and, and they are, their stomachs are full. And Alex Langer, the inventor of the flying lure, says there is a very specific reason why the flying lure causes so many strikes. Most of the time, when you're working your lure, the very, the very action of working your lure to make it enticing pulls that lure right away from the fish. And, and with the flying lure, the action of making that lure enticing, that is pulling it back and letting it go forward, does not move that away from the fish. Not only doesn't it move it away from the fish, it keeps it going into his face one, two, three, four, ten times. Actually, that was really incredible because I had been sitting there at the hog trough and I had been watching a few other baits being thrown. And these fish were really inactive. Alex got up there and threw the flying lure, and every fish in the hog trough just attacked it. It was incredible. I was about 20 feet from him, and it got my attention. And he sneaks me over, and we go to the hog trough, and people trust me. It's history after that. Can you legitimately say that, as far as you're concerned, based on everything you've seen, that the flying lure seems to be the most successful bait thrown in this tank? No doubt about it. I've been here now for 11 years, and I've seen a lot of lures come and go, and uh, I've never seen anything hit the fishing tackle industry like uh, the flying lure. It's, it's really something to see the lure go down and be effective as it is, whereas you see other lures go in there and not do anything. And recently, we put the flying lure to another test, this time in Long Beach, California at Fred Hall's annual Western Fishing Tackle and Boat Show. The crowds were big, and you can just bet that when Alex Langer got there, it was standing room only. Were the fish going to bite again? And what I have on is a two-inch silver shad flying lure. It looks like a little minnow. I mean, this is one of my favorite colors. I've caught everything on this from big bass to big trout to even saltwater fish. And Boom. Now watch what that lure is doing. Now check this out. Look how fast Alex gets a fish on. Digging it up a little bit, going back. And every time I drop my rod, what is that? Okay, we let go, buddy. <laughs> okay, I'm. He's not letting. Now remember, the hook is disengaged. Okay, the hook's turned down now. I I can't hook him. Okay, you let him. Took it again. Took it again. Now see, it's going. Look, look at this. Let it go. Took it again. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm trying to pull it out, and I can't. There we go. There it is. So it again. <laughs> we outfish, and you can ask anybody that sits around those tanks what they've seen that day. And say, absolutely. Did other lures catch fish? Sometimes they have, sometimes they haven't. But the flying lure always wins hands down, and it, it's off, so it's almost unfair. We get two nice fish on. <sighs> <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that is a nice baby. one. That's what we came out here for. It does what it says it does, but it's hard to really get a good feel for what it does until you see it. Something you you got to use to really appreciate how these things catch fish. They say they'll catch all species of fish. I, I know they catch a lot of rock cod, but uh, they'll catch a lot of salmon as well. You know, the big kings are pretty much gone. The ones that are still here, you know, they don't want to bite anymore. They're thinking about spawning and, you know, finishing their life cycle. The flying lure actually Woo! made a salmon bite yeah. that did not want to bite. The action of the lure actually enticed these fish into biting. Nice fish. The lure worked. I cast it out like two or three times just to get the feel of it. And uh, I saw this tree laying over in the water. I threw it over over top of the tree and then bumped it up over it and just let it sink down underneath it. And all I saw was a swirl, but all of a sudden I saw my line going out in the water and I <laughs> yanked on it and hung him and I fought him for about two minutes and got him in. Oh, I was so excited, I stepped over into the water and picked him up. I was literally screaming. My buddy just came running over there and he, he told me out of the, the 12 years that he's lived down there, he's never seen a fish that big come out of it. Uh, look at this picture. This, this is probably my favorite picture, Jim. Not because it's the biggest, oh, man, biggest fish. This is a huge fish, okay? I'm gonna read you this whole letter because I think it's so great. This is from Randy Niquette, okay, of uh, Philadelphia, New York. He says, Dear Alex, the first time I saw the flying lure, I was at a sportsman show in Watertown, New York. He said, To be quite honest, I never really used the lures. Then one day I was fishing with my son, Scott, who was about three and a half years old at the time. I caught a few bass, and he wanted to catch something bigger than panfish. So I'm thinking to myself, great. I heard a three-year-old boy sitting here, you know. How am I possibly going to get him to catch a big bass? You know, it, it was they weren't hitting on night crawlers or nothing. So I was like, oh, no. So I asked him, I said, what do you want to use? 
And he says, one of the lures on TV. And I said, well, which lure on TV? The flying one, the one that flies. I said, oh, the flying lure. And he said, yes. So he opened my tackle box and picked up a flying lure and said he wanted to use it. And he picked out the big six inch black one. And I, I, he looked at me and said, how do you fish with it? And I said, you throw it out. I said, you let it go to the bottom and you work it real slow. And he says, okay. Well, he did and enclosed is a picture of my son's first largemouth bass. And yes, it was caught on the flying lure. This fish was almost 24 inches long. Here, this kid makes one cast with his flying lure and, you know, he's got probably a six pound bass on the end of the line. And I said, no way, you know. So I went down and tried to help him out. He wouldn't let me help him. It's my fish. I said, okay. He, we got it up to the boat and uh, I got it in and I couldn't believe it. I put it on the scales, it was six pound, eight ounce. It was incredible. I mean, just incredible that a kid that size could catch that quality of fish. I was fishing with a flying lure then. I saw it was a piece of meat or something that I blew it in, and it was a big old fish. About this big. And he's had incredible, incredible success with it. I mean, some of the success that kid has had is just, it's, it's made a father, made a father real proud to see a kid catch a six pound bass or see him catch, you know, numerous bass. It's, it's something. It is something. Just want to thank you for making it possible for my little fisherman to have fun and such a good time. You know, <laughs> what, what am I going to add to this? Scott, who's a three and a half years old, doesn't have preconceived notions. He doesn't think that he has to make the lure work. He would simply worked with the lure and let it catch fish for him. Because he didn't know anything yeah. else to do but that. You know, Don Meisner made a good point to me. He said, fishing with the flying lures, you should almost call it unfishing or non-fishing because, because you're not making the lure work. The fisherman doesn't have to really do much with the lure other than let it be, let it do its thing. The presentation is so natural and so easy if you just don't mess it up or screw it up. If you just let the lure do its own thing, let it be a natural flying, a gliding body in the water, it'll hit a water current bounce off of it. It'll hit a stump or a twig, bounce off of it. And it looks just like a, like a little fish, you know, bumbling through the water, a little, like a little crayfish. It has its own action that we have pre-programmed. And because there is no human intervention when it's actually going forward, it becomes a part of the natural system. It becomes a part of the natural, of the nat natural lake or that natural body of water. And it interacts with it without my intervention. That's why it works. Does it work like we presented it in the commercial? Yes. Yeah, it does. It does work. Exactly it. like you presented. Did it do what you wanted it to do? Exactly. Exactly what you said on TV. Exactly what it did. Did it work like you'd seen it on TV? Exactly. This floor here is just, just does what it really says. Ooh, did you see? Oh, look at the size look of the it. calico down watch, there with it. Watch, I want you to watch it. Want you to watch the flight. Let's see him come up and hit up. Look at the barracuda. Oh, come on, barracuda. Oh, look, look at look at him come up and hit it. Just as soon as you put it out there, it starts to swim. See him hit it? Just as soon as it starts to swim away, they'll come up and hit it. Look at that. And remember these huge fish caught on the flying lure in our last show? Well, stay tuned for the biggest fish ever caught on the flying lure. Coming up next. It's time to expand your flying lure arsenal. But don't delay, because this brand new offer is not available in stores. Order now and receive five new incredible craw tails, the next generation of flying lures never before seen in stores. Its legs kick just like a living creature, becoming a natural part of the environment. All you have to do is let it swim on its own into the very best places where the big fish hide. It triggers strikes from non-aggressive fish in a way that no other lure can because of its patented persistence. You can experience the thrill of the big one hitting your flying lure craw tail, but you must call now. You'll also receive four Glide Naturals in brand new fish catching patterns in both two and four inch sizes. These photorealistic lures with the enticing flying lure action will be irresistible in any fishing situation. With your order, we'll include a special selection of nine original flying lures, the kind being used by millions of anglers around the world. They're the hottest because they work. 
Call right now, and we'll also include not only seven flying lure jig heads with patented weighting, but also three brand new jig heads with a special fiber weed guard to protect your flying lures in the thickest brush. You'll get the tackle pack for protecting and carrying your unique flying lures, plus the flying lure handbook loaded with fish catching secrets to help you enjoy greater fishing success right now. The entire offer is yours for only $19.95. And look, if you order now, you'll receive 10 more lures in all three styles, originals, naturals, and crawtails, but only if you call now. And we're not through yet. To make this offer irresistible, Easy Set Hook Company is offering a special incentive. They will Teflon coat all 10 of these jig heads. You'll enjoy quicker and easier hook sets than you've ever experienced before, but you must call now. The entire package, an incredible value, is yours for only $19.95. Fantastic gift for your favorite fisherman, and it's made in the USA. Experience the exhilaration of catching more and bigger fish. Guaranteed. Order now. Use your credit card. Call 1 800 301 9966 to order the Flying Lure Kit for only $19.95 plus $5.95 shipping in U.S. funds, or send check or money order to Flying Lure. P.O. Box 51578, Phoenix, Arizona, 85076. Call 1-800-301-9966. That's 1-800-301-9966. Call now. I'm going to show you uh, one of my favorite techniques. In fact, it's probably my favorite technique if I had to tell you the truth. It's called skipping. I can fish docks. I can fish trees. I can fish things that the average person just can't fish, and I can do it better using the flying lure. Here's why. Watch what I'm doing. I'm going to take this rod, and I'm going to make a cast right along the surface of the water. See what happened? That lure just skipped along the surface of the water like a flat rock. I'll show it to you again. Watch this. I'm going to make this skip just like that. That lure just now skipped probably 12 feet, and if it didn't hit the dock, it probably would have gone another five or six feet. What's the message here? What's the lesson? The lesson is this. If you have docks or trees which are not right tight up against the water, you can skip your lure into holes. You can skip your lures into and under that cover, and the flying lure skips perfectly because it's perfectly weighted. It's aerodynamically designed. There's more weight in the front than in the back. It'll skip further than a, than a jig and pig. It'll skip further than a conventional plastic worm. Plus, when you're through with the skip, it'll continue to go even further than those conventional lures. So not only do you have the perfect skipping bait because of its, because of its flat size, but what you've got is a lure that'll actually go further and further and further. And that just went right under the dock. I've been in the tackle business literally all my life. I started when I was 15 years old, and I've never, ever seen anything that catches more fish, more species of fish, whether it be freshwater, saltwater, than a flying lure. Because when it is swimming, it even wiggles, and it looks like something alive. And I think that, you know, fish, most fish feed on the same type of foods. They fit, feed on what's alive in the water around them. And this looks like part of their environment, part of something that they want to eat. And, and not only do they hit it, but I've had so many cases where they actually engulfed it. It spelled food to them. And if that lure you just saw looks different than our original flying lure, you're right. It's the flying lure crawtail, our newest secret weapon for your fishing arsenal. I am as excited about this as I was about when I invented the original flying lure. This is a lure that has unparalleled action. It's got a couple of legs that, that actually, you, when you see this lure in the water, you actually, it actually looks like it's kicking and swimming on its own away from the angler, okay? Just as the original flying lure has that natural minnow-like swimming motion, this has a much more active kicking motion, and it's something that fishermen are beginning to catch fish with all over the place, okay? It, it's, a, it's simply a flying lure that gives you more vibration, more action, and looks like it's actively it's swimming away from you as fast as it can. <laughs> it's, kicking. it's kicking. It's actually kicking. So it mimics a crawfish because it looks exactly like a crawfish with its pincers uh, pointed at you in a defense position. And when it quickly scoots away, it looks like it's kicking. Uh, on its downward fall, it also looks like a minnow because it has a, it has the twin tail swimming action. It is. It's going to be an absolutely deadly bait. I, I know. I just know. Every everybody that I've shown this bait to says, "Holy cow! <laughs> a flying lure can do that." 
And some more additions to the Flying Lure family of products are these brand new gliding natural patterns, like this fire tiger. When you get into a big fish's hideout, you want as realistic a presentation as possible. And the gliding naturals look just like the creatures they were designed to imitate. We had just an explosion of colors that mimic natural life found all over the country and all over the world with the new naturals. And look at this. The next revolution in fishing hooks is here. Alex has teamed up with a product inventor who won best of show in his category at this year's National Fishing Show. Teflon coated hooks from Easy Set Hook Company. Most people think of the sharpness of, of the points of hooks. Uh, and they really don't think about the area that you have penetration across the barb. That's been one area that's never been explored before, and the Teflon is so slick, uh, it's coming through a fish great. I mean, your hookups are just much, much, much more. But you're going to end up with a better, easier hook set and catch more fish. It just helps you set the hook that much easier, penetrates that much faster, and you don't have to set the hook near as hard. In other words, it makes the hook easier to go through the membrane. The combination of flying lures and Teflon-coated hooks is a winning lineup. You'll enjoy much easier and deeper hook sets with a smaller entry hole you'll lose fewer fish you get nine times better rust resistance your jigs will last longer and you can downsize your line because less force is required to set the hook the bottom line you'll catch more and bigger fish with teflon coated flying lure jig heads we've even added a fiber weed guard allowing you to get your flying lures into and over the heaviest brush i love your lures i have some pictures of them i brought down here this is up at uh, the place up in lake arrowhead what no what are those calvin we got a uh, big mouth bass and two rainbows. Now, what else do you have? Uh, calico, not calico, I mean lincoln. Wow, that is some fish. And here's, uh, here's my, uh, this is my baby. Calvin, no. welcome to the hey. Flying Lures family. I'm so you're glad welcome, you man. came down with I'm friend. glad. As a matter of fact, you never know who you're going to find using the Flying Lure. Here at the famed Shoji Tabuchi Theater in the heart of the Ozarks, Branson, Missouri, guess who we found out is an absolutely avid fan of the Flying Lure? The incredible Shoji Tabuchi! Shoji Tabuchi, the internationally acclaimed country fiddler and Branson's number one act, is big on the flying lure. While we were visiting recently, he was kind enough to invite Alex up on stage for a little fun. Fra flying lure. Oh, not frying, frying. It's, 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 it's frying fish. Frying. Flying lure. Either way, look at it, it's hot. <laughs> You first heard about the flying lure on TV, right? Right. Yeah, I watched it and I ordered it. Two sets of it. It does work. What do you say to skeptical people? You well, you know, just just you have to try it, to believe it. You know, it's a, it's the same thing. Oh, uh, people when I first came to uh, this country, you know, start playing the fiddle, you know, and I I tell to the folks uh, I play a country fiddle, you know, and people didn't believe me then, you know. So it just. Uh, Try it. Take care. Alex Slanga, inventor of Flying Lure. How about it? You know, it's amazing how far the Flying Lure phenomenon has traveled. From the stages of Branson, Missouri, we went to the International Fishing Exposition in Holland, where we were excited to learn that the Flying Lure method of fishing has gained popularity at an unprecedented rate, catching fish for people worldwide. Just like an explosion, you know. They saw that the, the people catch, caught fish, and so within about two or three months, you know, everybody wanted to have the flying lure. I just can't believe the interest of people just around the globe. It seems like everybody from Poland, Czechoslovakia, just all across Europe and beyond just seem to have heard about a lure. It is ganz einfach. Es kann jeder Angler sofort mit dem flying lure fischen. It goes by itself, huh? It's you don't have to throw it each time again and again. It stays at the same place. The flying lure method of fishing is really taking hold in Europe. Recently, a leading fishing magazine, Rod and Reel, completed a year-long field study to test the claims made about the flying lure. The verdict? Well, they said it's a new artificial lure that fills an important gap in fishing. And take a look at these quotes from some of the field testers. I was very skeptical and didn't want to believe in the flying lure, but numerous catches made me a true fan of this super lure. The flying lure really catches fish well. I can only say to everybody, try it. And here's what the editor of the magazine had to say. The pike tore up the six-inch chartreuse flying lure so much that it couldn't swim anymore. And perhaps the biggest testament to the popularity of the flying lure was when Disney's Hyperion Press commissioned Alex to write a book about the flying lure phenomenon for worldwide release. 
Yeah, I got over three hundred dollars worth of flying lures. <laughs> I started, man. I am dead serious. I have a tackle box full of flying lures. I show my friends. Oh man, look at this. It's time to expand your flying lure arsenal, but don't delay because this brand new offer is not available in stores. Order now and receive five new incredible craw tails, the next generation of flying lures never before seen in stores. Its legs kick just like a living creature, becoming a natural part of the environment. All you have to do is let it swim on its own into the very best places where the big fish hide. It triggers strikes from non-aggressive fish in a way that no other lure can because of its patented persistence. You can experience the thrill of the big one hitting your flying lure craw tail, but you must Call now. You'll also receive four Glide Naturals in brand new fish catching patterns in both two and four inch sizes. These photorealistic lures with the enticing flying lure action will be irresistible in any fishing situation. With your order, we'll include a special selection of nine original flying lures, the kind being used by millions of anglers around the world. They're the hottest because they work. Call right now, and we'll also include not only seven flying lure jig heads with patented weighting, but also three brand new jig heads with a special fiber weed guard to protect your flying lures in the thickest brush. You'll get the tackle pack for protecting and carrying your unique flying lures, plus the flying lure handbook loaded with fish catching secrets to help you enjoy greater fishing success right now. The entire offer is yours for only $19.95. And look, if you order now, you'll receive 10 more lures in all three styles, originals, naturals, and craw tails, but only if you call now, and we're not through yet. To make this offer irresistible, Easy Set Hook Company is offering a special incentive. They will Teflon coat all 10 of these jig heads. You'll enjoy quicker and easier hook sets than you've ever experienced before, but you must call now. The entire package, an incredible value, is yours for only $19.95. A fantastic gift for your favorite fisherman and it's made in the usa experience the exhilaration of catching more and bigger fish guaranteed order now use your credit card call 1-800-301-9966 to order the flying lure kit for only 1995 plus 595 shipping in u.s funds or send check or money order to flying lure P.O. Box 51578, Phoenix, Arizona, 85076. Call 1-800-301-9966. That's 1-800-301-9966. Call now. You caught some fish with it? Yeah, we were fishing here for bass, and we threw it out the first time in 30 seconds. We hit a 17-pound halibut. Really? Yeah, right here in the jetty. And it was that quick. I had never been able to hook a salmon, so I happened to be watching your program one night, and I saw the flying lure, and I, I thought, well, I'll give it a try. I put the lure on and cast it out. And I pull it in a little bit, and then I'd let it go, and pull it in a little bit and let it go.